Hi, I'm Seamless, and today I'm going to show you how to use an FM bass as a modulator inside Vocodex. So, to begin, I have here an empty instance of Patcher. To make an FM modulator, we need to have an FM synthesizer. For this, I'm using Citrus. Our goal here is to create a synth that has vocally formity characteristics, because we're using it as a modulator and a vocoder, and the whole point of that is that you're using formity characteristics. So I'm going to make operator 2 here a triangle. And modulate our original sine wave. And we get that. Not anything too fancy yet, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in an additional higher harmonic. At ratio 64, where the fundamental is ratio 2, this means that's actually 5 octaves higher. And when in there with it, with the total FM controlled together, we get that. If you observe the EQ while doing that, you can actually see the behavior that sort of indicates that it is somewhat formity. Now that we have this, we're going to use that as the modulator for our vocoder contraption. But first, we need to make a carrier. In this case, I'm going to use Harmer to make a kind of neat, squishy bass. In normal FL, in the, in, in the mixer, when I when you use Vocodex, it just it knows when there's more than one input and it can sort through them. But in Patcher, you have to manually create more than one input so that you, it can tell that they are separate. And then you go in here and you have your list of input 0 and input 1. Input 0 is our carrier, input 1 is our modulator. And if you're ever unsure, you can go in here and mouse over it and it'll tell you what it is in the uh, upper left-hand corner. So I'm going to put down some notes. Got some notes. We're going to automate the FM. That's pretty much it. Minus any kind of finagling you do inside Vocodex to tailor the sound to your desires. And that's how you use an FM bass as a modulator inside Vocodex. For more in-depth information on the subject, you can check out my course at Creative Live.